Of all the places I have traveled, I've yet to see the land touch the sky like it does in Hartville, Wyoming. There's a peace about this place that calms even the most restless of spirits, and within this beautiful small town exists Kindness Ranch Animal Sanctuary, a place of rehabilitation and rest for animals who have been used in laboratory research. According to the Humane Society, nearly 20 million animals are used annually in research, testing, and in veterinary education in the United States. Now, the reality of what animals used in research face is a lesson for another time. But what is important right now is that places like Kindness Ranch exist, so that animals such as horses, cats, dogs, pigs, cows, and more can live out the remainder of their lives as they should, with love, care, yummy food, and expansive areas to roam amidst the over 1,000 acres of land. Now, my dear friend John Rammer is the executive director at this amazing nonprofit. So when he invited me to come visit, I made the plans as soon as I could. You see, John has an extensive resume working with animals of all kinds and is, in my opinion, one of the most compassionate, knowledgeable, and humble animal caretakers on this planet. If the world had a few more individuals with hearts like John's, animals and people in the country would be doing a lot better. I met John a few years back when visiting Mission Wolf in Colorado, and his heart for the animals I too love continues to give me hope and encouragement. This here is Sally the pig, who actually acts more like a dog. Sally was used in research in Colorado. It is unknown what kind of research exactly, but within the isolation room she was taken from, there were a series of not so friendly looking restraints. She was so scared at the time of her rescue that it took five individuals to get Sally into the trailer and to her new home. But within a month, Sally quickly learned to trust people. Now, this here is Kevin the goat. Kevin loves to play and headbutt with visitors. He certainly may be little, but he is an adorable force to be reckoned with. I particularly appreciated his spunky and relentless spirit. Kevin was used for research at a veterinary training facility. Once his term was deemed complete, he was gifted, as they say, to kindness. He and Sally like to enjoy each other's company now and are quite the duo. And not too far from Sally and Kevin are what researchers would call the beefaloes. Now these are a cross between a cow and a buffalo with the intent of creating more meat for food from what you would regularly get from a cow. I don't know much about beefaloes, but this idea personally doesn't sit too well with me. However, these guys were the sweetest and loved head scratches. It made my heart and my family's happy to see them roaming freely. I truly believe that all of these animals are sentient beings worth living full and abundant lives. Now, would it be a ranch without horses, but these guys are extra special. You see, several of them were deliberately given cancer to try experimental research for treatments. Hank here, the beautiful black racehorse, was eventually also used in nutritional research, but is now full of love for the visitors and grass he enjoys. I can only imagine the relief all of these animals must feel when waking up each day at kindness. Which brings me to perhaps my favorite, the cats. Kindness has one of the most elaborate and well-maintained cat yurts I've ever seen. The many adorable cats here were also used in nutritional research with the purpose of understanding how certain supplements, vitamins, and dietary changes can positively or negatively impact their health. Some were even intentionally given cat scratch fever for research purposes. What I really loved were that all the cats and most other animals at Kindness are adoptable. Despite facing such tough prior circumstances, the cats showed nothing but love and eagerness to play when we visited with them. It touched my heart to see them play with their new BritFit toys and to see my family feeling the same love for them that I did. My heart was happy and I know that the cats were too. As Dr. David Grubman, the founder of the ranch, explains, the long-term vision for the sanctuary is to be able to accommodate at any one time as many animals as possible from laboratory research. And as Kindness Ranch continues to grow from the help of visitors and supporters, I have no doubt they will continue to succeed in their mission of fostering compassion for all animals, continuing their adoption programs, and in giving animals the proper attention and love that they inherently deserve. And as beautiful as the hills and rivers of Wyoming are, the dedication of those at Kindness Ranch who are working 24-7, often traveling hundreds of miles across the country to rescue animals, is even more inspiring. If you would like to learn more about Kindness, you can visit their website, follow them on Instagram, and consider giving to their amazing work. Additionally, another easy way to help is to understand that you can play a role in slowing the use of animals in research. Consider doing a little background investigation into the companies that you're purchasing decisions support. You might be surprised at what you discover. 
Seek out alternative options for certain cosmetic and other household items that you regularly use. Look for those that are Leaping Bunny certified and consider making more sustainable and animal friendly changes to your regular purchasing decisions. Small steps are all it takes. And in the meantime, thank you Kindness Ranch for being a safe haven for animals around the country. And thank you John Rammer for inviting me and for being such an amazing friend of mine. I can't wait to see all the success that Kindness Ranch has in the future.